This time on Foghorn, we investigate the tragic misspelling of the word center as we look into how Wargaming's new launcher, Game Center, will affect players who are still using the old individual game launchers. This video is aimed at anyone who is still using the individual launchers for World of Warships, World of Tanks, World of Planes. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit about what the new Game Center is um, and how it's going to affect you. Wargaming introduced Game Center uh, some time ago, uh, very quietly, but I've noticed uh, this week that there's actually a news article um, called One Login to Play Them All. And it starts to give me the impression that they're going to push it a little bit harder now. Up to now it's optional. If you download the game um, afresh now, you do get the Game Center as your uh, default launcher, but you can still download the old launcher. Um, but I've got a funny feeling that in the near future, perhaps, that they will um, deprecate the uh, the individual launcher and everyone will have to use the combined launcher. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit nervous about moving over because I know that the existing launcher works. However, you know, I'm kind of interested in starting to play um, World of Warplanes and World of Tanks a little bit, maybe. So um, the idea of having a combined launcher which has single sign-on um, and updates all the apps in the background, uh, all the games in the background, um, is quite appealing to me. So I thought I would cover my conversion from a single launcher to the Universal Game Center launcher so that you can see what happens and I can look into um, exactly how it works um, and hopefully you'll alleviate some of your fears. So the situation on my PC uh, before installing Game Center is that I've got the standard World of Warships um, old uh, launcher, which is this one, and then I've also got the public test server launcher, um, which I can switch over to here. And the idea of Game Center is that you can launch all of your game instances, including different versions, different instances of the same game, from Game Center. So let's install it and see what happens. You can find Game Center either from the top menu there under Game. Um, you can just ins just install the game and it will give you the launcher. Or there's a link in this uh, new news article, One Login to Play Them All. You can see there the button Install Game Center. So let's do that and see what happens. Um, as you'd expect, uh, download an executable. Obviously this is the launcher, not the game, so it's not a very big download. Um, on my other monitor I'm just clicking uh, Install. And you can see it brings up a language uh, choice. It then asks me where I want to install, whether I want a desktop shortcut, whether I want to install DirectX. Um, so that all looks fine to me, so click install. And it downloads uh, the actual launcher. And when it's finished downloading, it installs. And when it opens, the first thing it does is detect your installed games. Now I've got the standard World of Warships client, and then I've also got the public test server client. So it's saying, would I like to install those uh, or import those? So I do. Um, and there we go. Um, it also gives you the option to automatically update those games, which I do want. So I'm going to say OK and done. Um, it then asked me whether I've got a Wargaming account. And this really is one of the big selling points of this launcher, is that you log in once to the launcher and then that logs you into all the games by single sign-on. You don't have to log in to each individual game anymore. So here I'm just filling in my email address um, and then I'll do my password. This then logs me into my Wargaming EU region account. Um, and that will log me in automatically to any of my EU instances. It doesn't automatically log me into the PTS because that has a separate account, but it does detect and launch the PTS instance that I had installed. It's just that when I open PTS from the Game Center, I have to log into the game individually, just like you would have to do with the old launcher. The same is true of other regions, um, and I'll cover that a little bit later. So this is Game Center, the new unified launcher, and you can see there in the All Games tab, it gives me links to um, all of the games that Wargaming have available for me to download, um, including ones on other platforms that I might be interested in, like console versions. Uh, this second tab is um, for World of Warships, and if you had other games installed, you'd see them across the top as well. And you can see here in this dropdown that I can actually change between my public test instance and my live EU instance. Let's just look through some of the items in the sidebar here. So the first one uh, shows you some information. Uh, you can get to the wiki and the Wargaming website. You can also get to social media. The second is notifications for downloads and things. That's the download queue. Uh, then you've got uh, some settings. Um, you can choose to launch when you uh, start Windows. Uh, some download speed restrictions if you want to do that to make sure you don't impact any games that you're playing uh, if the downloads start in the background while you're playing. Um, so you might like to set a speed restriction, say, on download uh, updates. 
You can also download things in advance of them actually being published. So I think Wargaming are going to take more of a Steam model of pushing updates out in advance um, of them actually being put live so that you already have the download and you don't have that weight of having to download the update before you can start playing uh, the new version of the game. If you know what you're doing, you can change the incoming uh, port connection. If you don't know what that does, don't touch it. And then the last icon down in the bottom left is your account management, which is simply a link to your uh, Wargaming account. So looking in a bit more detail at the World of Warships tab here, um, if I change this over to the live server, you can see there there's a mixture of news items, um, which is quite nice, and then you've also got some shop items, um, some quick links to the shop. At the top here, you can also change from the high to the ultra uh, version of the client. The ultra version of the client requires a little bit of extra downloads, which is why it's a separate option. You can also see options down below for the game language, the news language, um, check and repair, which um, is great in case you have any problems with the game. And most notably this, install additional game instance. Um, if I click on that, it brings up this screen. And in the top left hand corner, I can change uh, the region from Europe to any of the other regions, including public test. And so I can use this to install an instance for any of the other regions. And it says there that I need to have an account for that region, but I can accept and install, um, and then presumably it will open that instance of the game and I'll have to log in when I actually open the game to the region account for that region. So what happens when I actually press play? Um, so in theory, this should single sign on. Uh, the first time you do this, you have to accept the uh, EULA and it will open the game just like I'd opened it from the old launcher. But the difference, um, and then I'm just gonna switch over to my other screen, it's a 4K screen, so sorry if the text is a bit small. You get the familiar game loading uh, bar, and then when that's done, you'll notice that the uh, login prompt comes up, but it's already filled in, and then it automatically connects. Again, the first time you do this, you have to uh, accept the EULA, but you only have to do that once. Um, and then it will log in. I didn't have to click anything, and apart from the EULA, um, I wouldn't have to make any clicks with my mouse at all, so I could wander off and make a cup of tea um, and come back and I would be logged in and in my port. So back at the launcher, just a couple of other things. If I go up to the top right hand corner, there's a link for player support, which takes me to the support um, pages on Wargaming for all the different games. I also just wanted to point out that in one of the recent public test server news articles, um, there are some instructions um, here about how to install the public test client using Game Center. Um, it doesn't seem that this is actually necessary because um, when I install Game Center, it automatically detected PTS and you can also install the PTS instance from within that screen I just showed you. Um, so I don't think these restrictions are actually necessary. So now that I have Game Center installed, one of the things I'm curious about is can I still get to the old launchers? So I just clicked the old World of Warships taskbar link to my launcher and it opened Game Center. Um, and I'll do the same thing in just a second for the PTS launcher. Um, and again, when I do that, it doesn't open the PTS launcher, it opens uh, Game Center, but it opens it on the PTS tab. I've also tried directly running from the executable and it also opens Game Center. So it looks like this is a permanent change. Once you've moved over to Game Center, your old launcher will no longer work. But I don't think there's anything to worry about. Game Center seems to work fine. Um, everything's in one place. You've got that single sign-on benefit. And you can also install the other games straight from the launcher. So um, I've always fancied playing World of Warplanes. So let's just quickly go through the installation of World of Warplanes from Game Center and see what that's like. So I'm just choosing my language. I'll go for HD since I'm on a fairly powerful machine. Um, press accept and install and the installation begins um, and it looks like it downloads the SD client first uh, and then the HD content comes afterwards so once the SD content is downloaded um, then you can immediately start playing with the SD content while the HD content downloads in the background. So that's Game Center, the new combined launcher for all of the Wargaming.net games for PC. And if you're still using the single launcher and you're a bit nervous I'd say don't be, um, it seems to work perfectly well so go ahead and install and enjoy. <laughs>